Human rights activists are painting a grim picture of the world we live in. Amnesty International has released a report detailing rights abuses on almost every continent. It's also highly critical of Australia's offshore detention system and Indigenous incarceration rates. Hazara refugee Najiba Wazifadurst is all too familiar with Australia's immigration detention system. We were called not by our name, by a number. And from that point onward, we became part of a statistic. A statistic under fresh attack today, a key focus of the latest global human rights report from Amnesty International. It says asylum seekers in offshore detention suffer neglect and ill treatment in a deliberate policy of deterrence. Our report really highlights the abuses that have happened and the levels of secrecy that this government and the governments of Nauru and PNG have put in place. Amnesty International alleges Australia's offshore detention system amounts to torture under international law. It says it seeks to minimise protections and maximise harm for would-be refugees. Now we need to rejoin the table of civilised nations that are looking for solutions to this, not just to continue the cruelty. The Department of Immigration would not respond directly to the latest amnesty report, instead referring to previous responses, denying all such allegations. The amnesty paper also accuses the justice system of continuing to fail Indigenous people, particularly youth, who it says are 24 times more likely to be detained. And it's intertwined with a lot of other issues, um, uh, domestic violence, um, uh, failure to support families, and it, unfortunately, it's the children that bear the brunt of this. The report paints a grim global picture too, pointing to the battle over the Syrian city of Aleppo, attacks against civilians in Yemen, the growing crisis for the Rohingya in Myanmar, mass unlawful killings in South Sudan, and the rise of hate speech across large parts of Europe and the US after Donald Trump's election. We saw an increase in hate, prejudice, uh, blaming of the victim, the spreading of fear by leaders. Against this backdrop, the report says we begin 2017 in a deeply unstable world. Darren Mara, SBS World News.